Praise God, praise God. I pray that you're all having a blessed day in the Lord. He is worthy to be praised. I'm not going to tear it before you long, but I just wanted to get up on here and actually tell you all what has been going on and what God is saying in this hour. So, 1 John 2.15 says, Do not love the world or anything in it. Okay, so let me repeat that again. Do not love the world or the things in the world. The love of the Father is not in those who love the world. All right. Do not love the world, neither the things that are in the world. If anyone loves the world, listen to this very carefully because y'all like y'all understand scripture. The Father's love is not in him. Mm, let me say that again. He says, do not love the world. I'm reading from 1 John 2.15. Do not love the world, neither the things that are in the world. If anyone loves the world, I'm going to say that one again, again too. Hey, John, hold on, you guys. <laughs> praise God, praise God, hallelujah. So, they didn't shut me down on YouTube. They do that every now and then when they don't like me telling the truth. Praise God, praise God. Well, anyway, I'm going to keep on rolling. If anyone does not love the things of this world, no, neither the things that are in this world, if anyone loves this world, the Father's love is not in him. End of story. It does not matter what you say. It doesn't matter what you think. It doesn't matter what you feel. This is real. God does not want you to love anything that's in the world. Period in the story. So what am I saying? God wants us to detach from this world. How do you detach, prophetess? This is how you detach. You love the things of God more. Matthew 6, 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God. Oh, come on. I got I to gotta hit it and I got to go, y'all. Let me tell y'all something what God is doing in this hour. God is raising up a remnant. Come on, somebody. And I'm going to teach you. Come on, somebody. I feel the power of God. I, I, that's what we're supposed to do for the older ones. Uh, uh, us, uh, us that are seasoned. I'm going to say it like that. Us that are seasoned. We're supposed to prepare them because we're not going to be here forever. But they, hallelujah. Oh, I feel good about this thing. Come on, somebody. Y'all thought the apostles was bad. Honey, let me tell you something. They ain't got nothing on the generation that's coming. Hallelujah. You don't hear what I say. He said, because I go to my father, I will do greater works. God is raising up a remnant. Come on, somebody. That's not scared of you witches. Not scared of you wallets. Not scared to tell the truth. Not scared of nothing. Take it all from the money. Honey, funny, don't matter. They just want to serve God. Where is God? They want to know who's been with God. They want to know the spirit of God. They want to be led by God. They want to walk in God. They want to talk in God. They want to move in God. They don't care about your riches. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God. They don't care about all that. They just want to serve God. And I'm talking about for real, not for play. They're going to talk it. They're going to walk it. They're going to breathe it. They're going to eat it. They're going to love it. And they're going to tell you about yourself. Because y'all don't like nobody telling y'all about yourself. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. So, I'm telling you right now, God is raising them up. So I got to go, you guys, because I got another appointment. But I tell you one thing. <laughs> God is getting ready to do it. I got, I got, I got to come back. I got to come back. So I'm gonna come back and maybe it's be a part two or whatever the case may be. But God bless you. God keep you, y'all. Let me tell you something. You can't stop the child of God. You try to, but you cannot stop a child of God. You can try to block, you can try to hinder, you can try, of course, come on, that's what they do. But God said, endure hardness. Let me say that again for the ones in the back. Endure hardness as a good soldier. Soldier up. Come on, somebody, hallelujah, you can't be scared. They, are they scared of you? No, hallelujah. And you got authority, you got dominion, God have given to you. Say Luke 10, 19, he said, I give you all power over the enemy. I, I went on and summed it up, serpents, scorpions. You got all power. Walk in your authority. Talk in your authority. Move in your authority. I'm not saying be. Uh, I'm not saying be arrogant, but be confident because God has given you authority, dominion. He said, "I give you dominion over this earth." <laughs> Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. Y'all know what time it is. Roll our soldiers, for that is truly who we are. God bless. Have a blessed one. Much love and respect, everyone.